What is up, everybody? Welcome to another Winging It podcast. Andre, how you doing, man? I don't know what to say about this week. I really don't. Man, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I mean, no, it was weird, it, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was. It wasn't the things that were released that we know about that has been said. It's the reactions that I'm just getting tired of. And with that segue, <laughs> so uh, y'all know what we're about to talk about. But the majority of this episode is going to be a freestyle. But we got to talk about two things first. And the first one is Pokemon Company. They had a presentation earlier this week uh, where they talked about the the Crown Tundra. Expansion. Your thoughts? <laughs> Honestly, to I guess for me, since I don't have such a big a big stake in Pokemon, to me everything is fine. I'm like, I don't see any issues with it. I don't see any problems with it. It's more content. It's more stuff you can sink your teeth into. More exploration you can do. Which is what Pokemon games are about. And I, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people be mad about it. Then I, but then again, I'll see the few people be like, man, you might as well just be happy with what we got. Because they could have just not expanded this game at all. Or they at all. Or they could have <laughs> done what they did previous generations and just remake the game again and give you a third game that still doesn't give you all the Pokemon. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think that people don't understand that, look, man... You do realize on the DS, all they did, DS and 3DS, all they did was four or five months later, they just gave you Ultra Moon Y. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they, so are you mad about this or are you you mad about the expected? I don't I saw those complaints too, and I'm not understanding the fan base here. I I think honestly it's because it's a change in how things were being done. So people were ticked off. But, but I thought that's changed. they would like that though. Yeah, this is a change that works for them rather than works against them, like releasing red and blue and then later releasing yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, because I'm like, you got two expansions that were cheaper than buying two whole new games. I don't understand the... Because what I saw of of the presentation, I'm like, this actually looks pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm not... I don't have a dog in this fight either. Um, I, I just laugh at the the hilarity of everybody complaining but still buying it. <laughs> so like that's the worst I'm part. I'm like, okay, you complained and made eighty thousand videos about why you shouldn't buy it, but then you turned around and helped it become one of the fastest selling po- selling Pokemon games in the series. Yeah, that's what happened. For and a lot of wonder why game developers do not take their customers seriously at, at times. You wonder, you really wonder why things like this. I don't wonder. I know why. I mean, I don't. I don't because I, I just understand the game at this point. I'm like, it's the this the vocal minority that's saying all this stuff and spewing all this stuff, and then the next thing you know, they the main ones going out and buying it or or getting mad when they can't purchase it. Like, perfect example, the amiibo situation. Remember when Nintendo first started? Everybody was saying, "Don't pre-order." Well. I pre-ordered like Mars and Link, <laughs> and mm-hmm. people were like, "How did you get a Mars?" I pre-ordered it. <laughs> Why did you pre-order? I didn't say. I, I didn't tell people not to pre-order. <laughs> I told people if that's what you want, you best to pre-order because that's the only way you can guarantee that you're going to get it. Probably. Come on, when that situation happened, everybody should have known that those things were going to sell. Yeah, like, come on. So, I mean, it's those situations like that, and it's, it's. I, I just find it funny. I'm glad the Pokemon Company, they listen, but they they're actually smart about what they listen to, and I, because me personally, I think what they did was worked. I understand people wanted all their Pokemon in it, but they explain that too. Like, there's no way in the world they would go, they'd be able to go back and do every last one of them and get that game on time. No, wouldn't there was no that. way. And because if they would have tried to do that, people would have been mad because this character isn't Gigamax. This character isn't Gigamax. Why isn't this character Gigamax? No, you can't. No. <laughs> it's a whole new region. It makes sense that every Pokemon is not in it. In my opinion, it makes sense. Because if you're going to different regions, like you don't find every you don't find polar bears in South America. 
Okay, so it makes sense that not everything is in every region. I mean, it if you're looking at it like that, part. yeah. If, if you're looking at it like that, I mean, and I know some of y'all have like your stuff like. Uh, saving that Poke Bank, and you've been building. I understand that, but at the same time, if they're making a new game and they're trying to get it out on time, and they have a new idea for this particular region, respect them at least before you start hollering and complaining. I, I just, I find it funny. But then, now we move from um, people hollering and complaining about Pokemon to my hero Sakurai being the master troll that he is. <laughs> Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> That's I was like, bro. I was like, because, but to, to be to be fair, to be fair, they said that that they said that was supposed to happen in the first fighter pass. To be fair, to be fair. My only other question is, uh, Phil, Spencer, buddy, pal, compadre. Um, I thought you said they, y'all weren't doing that no more. <laughs> oh, he lied. <laughs> oh, he lied for real. He lied. <laughs> so I guess that means Master Chief I mean, is off the books. Master Chief is hey, off look, the books. Look, look. First, first you get first you get Ori, the second Ori game. Even though he said he what they weren't going to be, they weren't doing that anymore yep. on the Switch. Even though I kind of figured that was coming anyhow, but still. Yeah. And, and now you got more Microsoft characters in Smash. I'm like, mm, look a little suspect there. <laughs> I mean. Hey, more visible look, things. Look, if, if if we was playing Among Us right now, Phil would be the imposter. Yeah, he would. Be, <laughs> Phil would be the imposter. Dead. D- d- yeah, for real, he would be I the feel, imposter. Phil, you sus. <laughs> you know you <laughs> <Yeah>. sus. <laughs> but and that's the other thing too. Um, and I I know uh, our good buddy Mr. T. He's a he's a friend of ours. I know when he saw that banjo kazooie amiibo, <laughs> I'm like, I thought of Mr. T. I'm like, he gonna get that mug. Oh, he gonna get that boy. I know he don't want to, but he gonna get it. Oh, he was probably look, he was like, man, why y'all gotta do this to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I mean, so the so the first thing first, they they put the trailer out first, which I okay. I'm like, okay. So I was at work and so I got back home, I watched the trailer, I'm like, no. I'm like, you tripping. <laughs> Because I, I knew it was Steve when he... I don't understand why people don't, don't catch up on this. They Every trailer, they put something in there to let you know what the character is before they actually show the character. Mm-hmm. When they knocked him through that, when Sonic knocked him into another dimension, I'm like, and He Minecraft. hit that brick wall? Yeah, I'm like, that's Minecraft. I'm like, that's Minecraft, dude. Like it, like it, he, the way he broke through the wall was a bunch of blocks. Yeah. So it was like... <laughs> it's Minecraft. <laughs> so... But I mean, it was messed up what Steve did to Mario, though. Oh, that was funny. That was hilarious. Where he 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 opened it. He opened it up for him to get out, and he saw that creeper. He put it right back up. Locked it back up. He's like, Nah, I ain't. Mm-mm. Nah, man. So <laughs> like, I ain't waiting on this. I'm out. <laughs> so basically, we got Steve, Alex, Enderman, and I think that's it. Steve, Alex, and Enderman. Steve, Alex, Enderman, and Zombie. And, and Zombie. So. We got them um, coming into Smash, and they're doing it relatively quick. It's o- October thirteenth is when he drops. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, from the time of recording, ten days. But when you guys see it, nine. Yeah, nine. So, uh, I will not lie. When I saw the, because um, we're recording this on Saturday, the third of October, he did a uh, the breakdown video this morning. Mm-hmm. They u- uploaded it. I'm like, once again, kind of weird, but they uploaded mm-hmm. it this morning. Um, and look, man, we don't deserve my hero Sakurai. We as gamers do not deserve him, dude. This man broke down how he fits, why he fits, even though he understands that people are going to be mad at him for putting them in. And then Which, he proceeds to show you that he, yes, he does work in the game. I'm just, my thing is, people get mad that he put Steve in there. Why not get mad that Villager was in the game? When Villager got yeah. announced for Smash, everybody laughed about it. We was having a nice chuckle about it because he looked like yeah. a homicidal maniac. Yeah. But he Villager comes from a game. A game, yeah. That is all about adventure and spending your free time chilling out and working. It ain't got nothing to do with fighting. 
There's more fighting and combat in Minecraft than there is in Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, but I, we're still okay with villagers running around with axes chasing people. So I don't see the problem with putting Steve and the Minecraft characters in. Yeah, I, I don't either. Um, like I said, I, now that would not have been my first pick. I, I'm not going to lie like that, but I don't. He meets the requirements. Video mm-hmm. game character, you know, recognizable. And, you know, he is rec- his game sales. People can't lie about that. His game sales. So. He's a recognizable video game character, and that's what he started out in video games. So, guess what? That's why you're not getting Goku. <laughs> that's why you're not getting Iron Man. He meets the criteria. So, I, I like I said, I didn't think he was going to do it, but hey, man. He did it. He did it, and he made it work. So, I guess this is going to be our troll character for this uh, pack, because the first troll character was Piranha Plant, which, <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> I was expecting a Goomba or a Koopa Paratrooper, honestly. But <laughs> my Minecraft Steve, I think, going to fulfill that role of troll character. That's, that's... I mean, he's like as far as like playing with them, his range is limited. Yeah, very like, limited. But he could just do a lot of stuff with that limited range. And, his, and the, the character's very faithful to the game. So, again, to me, no big deal. Here's how limited this character is. While Masahiro Sakurai is doing the actual, you know, showing people how he plays in game, um, this time he doesn't do the classic path. He does the spirit table for him. He doesn't use any uh, spirits and he starts taking damage. Now, the reason why I say this is significant is because every other time we've seen Sakurai play, he has not taken damage until like half damn near through (laughs) uh, classic path. He started taking damage off the top. I'm like, oh, okay, so yeah, this character ain't OP. No, nah, he's not. He's not. He's not now, OP. Now, if you if you let Steve box you in, yeah, you screwed. You screwed. But yeah. Steve is like the way he works. The Minecraft characters are based off of harvesting resources. Guess what that takes? Time. It takes time to set up. Yeah. So you have to have a chance to get your resources set up and your weapons break. Mm-hmm. So you have to have time to set up your resources, put your stuff together, and still fight. This is going to be some interesting gameplay, bro. And I, like, and somebody who's a strategist type player could make it work. But yeah, which he did show how that how how you could make that mess work. He did show like because he started doing some of the second uh, thing he did on the spirit table with the the Kirby's that were zombies. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a thing of beauty because I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing. Like he set he set them up. And I'm like, okay, so this is how this player plays. I'm like, so this is gonna be very interesting to see. I don't think too many people are gonna go online with them just because of the simple fact that like it's gonna be uh I don't think you're gonna be able to play with Minecraft characters in like a crazy five or six character smash. I don't think that's nah, going to work. You'll be able to if you're smart. It, like, it's it's going to take the people that are real methodical. Yeah, they're going to have to do that. About how to play. And they're going to have to be on, a, on a big stage. On a big stage. Yeah, they, you ain't doing that joke on no small stage. Bump that. <laughs> uh-uh. But nah, but people will see that and they'll be like, okay, how did you do that with, with this character? Because they like, by all means the Minecraft characters should suck. But if you pay attention to how he was playing with them, there is potential for a lot of setups with that character. These are facts. <laughs> These are facts. I'm like, because I started seeing it because I watched it twice just to see the 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 part where he was demonstrating. I'm like, oh yeah, this 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 character can be a headache if somebody spends some time with. He's gonna uh-huh. be a straight up headache. Yeah, and if you got two people working together playing as Minecraft characters, oh, you are f- fucked. Yeah. They can use each other's stuff. Yep. Which means one of them's gonna probably be blocking while the other one's crafted, and you're gonna be, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how these play how these play out. I might actually stream online just to and I'm a spectate. I'm not gonna because <laughs> hey, I know how this goes. The first the first weekend when 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 you go online, the first weekend when a new character drops, everybody plays as that character. So mm-hmm. that's I'm just gonna stream that and spectate and see if I can guess it. Might, I might, yeah, I might do that. Just do it like that. Just, that just way, do like some uh, some Jim Ross WWE commentary. Yeah, commentating. Yeah, 
um, before I actually go online and actually play in two weeks after that when people done got tired of it because they mad they tired of losing. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Now the second thing that they did, and th- this actually hurt my heart because I was still I was hoping. Oh, I already know what you're gonna I, say. I was hoping, I was hoping and praying. I'm like, there's still a chance. You can say this so there's many times. A, there's still a chance. Ain't no there ain't chance, no chance no more. There ain't no chance no more, man. At least they not for all. Yeah, there's they showed the me fighters. Travis touchdown is a me fighter, so he ain't getting no. He's not gonna be in there because there's one thing about this Smash Ultimate game is if you're a spirit, you might still be able to get a character in there, depending on how they had to use it. You know, depending on because there were some characters that they used, especially for like a uh, World of Light, that they used the spirit still just so we can have this because it was basically the game or whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you were a me fighter, if you were some kind of me fighter, you ain't in this game. And Travis Touchdown is a freaking me fighter. <laughs> I mean, I'm not as mad as other people are. I'm not, but I am a little hurt because in the in the character ballad in 2015. I I wanted Bayonetta and Travis Touchdown. I got Bayonetta, but I wanted Travis Touchdown because I'm like, he would be perfect. Of course, you had to tone down the cussing because the first, mm-hmm. well, actually, yeah, the first uh, No More Heroes, it starts off, you like, oh, so this is how we're going. <laughs> Two minutes after booting the game up. So this is how we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> um, so, and, and the, the, the undertones of what he was the reason why he was doing it. It was not for the reason you think, especially in two. It, it, two, if you go by the trailer for No More Heroes two, you would think it was a revenge story. Oh, not yes. exactly. <laughs> it is not at all. That's why I'm, I'm kind of scared to think about what three is going to be. <laughs> I mean, three we already know that 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 trailer was misleading. You know that trailer had to be. Oh, misleading. Yeah. yeah, it was hella misleading. So I I don't trust Two to Five One. I'm just going like that. I don't trust who the five one. So uh it is it hurts a little bit. It does, but we got what uh three more characters. No, nah, four more. Four, yeah, four more characters. Damn. Yeah, this is the second one. Yeah, four more characters. So which means the next one's probably coming January or February, somewhere in there. Yeah, um, because that, that video that they showed it was, was from, from, from August anyway. They did they recorded that back in August. Yeah. So that means that they're already working on the next character and Sora. setting up the video footage for that. Sora, no. Nah. Look, don't even don't even joke. It might even be him. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Um but yeah, uh I I don't I have no idea who to who to expect now. Just because, and I'm not like once again. I gotta reiterate this. I'm not as mad as other people. I know there's some people that's legit pissed off, like legit pissed off to the point where they like, I'm not playing this. I'm like, dude, it's oh, well, one character. That's your wasted money. Yeah, it's one character. There's four more to go, bro. Come on, dude. It is not that serious. It's over seventy something characters in this game. You're not playing as everybody. I main two people. I mm-hmm. like a lot of the characters. Don't get me wrong. But I guess, I mean, that's why I'm like sitting here, like how are people gonna get mad? It's a it's a game where you fight with a bunch of characters. Not everybody's yeah. going to like every single character that's yeah. in the game or that comes out. Like so if you I, legitimately play with every character in that game on a on a regular basis, which means you rotate every match to a new character. I do not know how you find a dedicated play style. No, because it's way too different. Every character is way too different. And the amount of detail he puts in, he puts so much detail. He put detail in the damn uh, Echo Fighters. And they supposed to be clones. Mm-hmm. So, hey. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. But overall, I enjoyed it. I like I like seeing Sakurai um, actually do his own uh Dev deep dives. I like do. I like seeing that. Even though after this um, is over, take after a break. This, please let that man take a break. Please, like he don't need to do nothing else. Like let him let him go rest. 
<laughs> Please, I don't. Not, no, no. See, you can't let him go rest. You gotta make him go. Rest. Yeah, yeah, it's like, dude, go to Hawaii, do something, man. You are not allowed in the building. Matter of fact, we coming to your house and taking all your <laughs> work equipment <laughs> from your house. Like that's the, that's basically what they're gonna have to do. Like, they're gonna have to force that man to take a vacation. I mean, I ain't look, because he put so much time. That's why I said, like gamers, we don't we don't deserve Sakurai because he put so much time and dedication. I tell people this all the time. There is no way in the world anybody, I don't know of anybody that has 100%ed a Smash Brothers game in that, in that generation. They may have done it later, <laughs> but not in that generation, no. And I know people who, like, their whole thing, like, their whole thing is like, yes, I'm going to concentrate. Not if they, like, have other games that they play too. They, no. No. Uh-uh. The only... The only, now I'm talking about players I know. I'm not talking about. I don't know the completionist. I don't know him personally, so I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about people I know. I'm talking about people that don't have YouTube channels that, you know, actually have job jobs, you know, <laughs> nine to fives that still love to, you know, do stuff like the completionist, but they just got to go to work, work. So mm -hmm. I'm not talking about people that have YouTube channels and this is all they do. I'm talking about people that actually have like, okay, I got to go to my nine to five and then I got like a couple of hours because I'm off on the weekends, but. This is what I got. So I'm talking about those type people. Um, I don't know anybody that ever 100% any of his games, even Kid Icarus Uprising. I don't know anybody that 100% that of that one until a couple years ago. One of my friends finally 100 it. I'm like, dude, really? Like, yeah, dude, it took me a while. <laughs> so I, I just want the man to take a break, personally. First, I just want to take a break. I mean, I... He this one he did look kind of tired. He wasn't joking as much as he normally does. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he, this, yeah, this man need a break. I guess he knew our off top he was gonna catch hell for it. Oh that, yeah. I don't think he wanted to put this one in there. I think this was a a, a Phil Spencer situation. Probably. I mean, I can see that being the case. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, uh, so I, I take it that. You know, um, Master Chief is out of the question now. <laughs> probably, he probably is. Yeah, I'll take it. The Master Chief is out of question. Out of the question. So, yeah. Uh, so, people, we got four more to go. Leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Who you think is coming next? Who Who would you like to see next? I would say, like, I would say that first. Um, I know a lot of people want Shantae. I think that would be a good character to yeah. have. Yeah. Um, personally, I want Urbosa. I don't want Impa, but that's because I have a I have a small uh, a slight appreciation for um, Urbosa. But that's just me. <clears throat> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's an appreciation, man. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing wrong or, or nasty. I just said an appreciation. That's PG. So um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just leave us a comment. Let us know who you think. I still think, I honestly do still think that we're probably going to get Ryu Hayabusa. He'll probably be like the last sword character. Um, just because that'll round out that 80s, uh, like the 80s side of the Smash roster. Um, the Pac-Man, Mario, Sonic, and um, Mega Man, and Ryu. So I still think it's going to be Ryu. I just think Ryu Hayabusa is going to be the last actual sword character um yeah. that we're probably going to get um uh, i hope they don't let him be last though i'm like yeah dude you need to get him before the before the end like let him be within the next two because i think if you release him people will be a little bit more happier because i don't know why people be complaining about sword characters because they know they like them i just i, like I don't understand complain. that <laughs> just like to complain that's all it's, it's a simple thing. Everybody likes to complain. That's true. You, you you do have a point. So we have now come to the freestyle uh, section of the podcast this week. Um, because like I said, there was only like two things. I would talk about something that I just read the other day, but I didn't. I don't have all the information, so I don't want to talk about it. Um, and and I don't want to start some stuff. I want this to be a positive, happy experience for the most part. So. Uh, what you want to talk about, Andre? Got anything? Well, I was going to talk about uh, 
Amazon Luna. Oh yeah, Coming the out. um the copyright infringement. <laughs> copyright infringement, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, look, man, y'all saw that controller. Y'all saw that controller. Yeah, everybody <laughs> saw that controller. I'm like, that is that is literal copyright infringement. But hey, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, the Luna, the uh, Amazon's gonna be setting up Luna, and they, I did a discussion on it, and they they are in the same position that Google was in okay. with this, <laughs> where well no, like where they have all these services already in place that can make this service even better, like the fact that they already own Twitch, so yeah. they already have their game streaming, they already have their uh, streaming service for people to interact with, so. Say somebody's playing on playing on Twitch, and they do an open call, like yo, I'm playing, I'm playing this through, through Luna, through Amazon's cloud service. Join me in the game. All they have to do is click a link that's on that video, and they can join in and play and be a part of the stream. That's something that's an advantage to them, which is something that Google had and was working on, but they threw away the components that. Would have made it easier. Yo, God, yeah. <laughs> Amazon still has theirs. They can use it for that. They can use it for along with their their watch parties if they want. Um, they can use. They also have the Amazon Games service that they don't really say anything about, which is another uh, another PC app store for people. But and they they get some pretty decent games on there. But they don't talk about it, which, which I wonder why. Yeah, that is weird, especially now that you're now that they're doing that. That that is kind of weird. Yeah, huh. and they're they're making their own games that are going to be available on Luna, and I'm going to assume they're also going to be available through Amazon Games because Amazon Games is uh, available basically free along with your Amazon Prime service. Ah, uh, okay. So it's like. I can see them setting all this stuff up to work and intermingle together. I just don't get why they haven't really Done promoted it. it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that is true because that, that would that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They got a bunch of stuff that they could they could go ahead and put on here. Ooh. Whew. I actually see uh a game that's going to be on Amazon games that I uh, beta tested and I did not know that that was going to be on there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I can't, right. I can't say anything because of NDA. <laughs> oh, NDA. Talk. Okay. I would like, they'd be like, you snitched. We can't let you do this again. I'm like, okay, no. Well, I mean, you ain't saying but, the name, but I'll, right. I'll say that the, I'll say that the game is good and you get to shoot people and the characters have uh, some very funny lines and quips. Oh, okay. That's that all works. I'm gonna say. That works, but that's gonna be interesting. Like I haven't looked into Amazon Luna, even though I have Prime. I haven't looked into it at all, so I'll probably do a little research on it, see what they're talking about. Um, because at this point, I'm actually in the process. Because I was thinking about it. Because uh, I'm 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 going back and forth between should I just go in to build me a gaming rig and just call it a day, and I think that's probably where I'm where I'm at right now. So. I may just do that and just say to heck with uh, all this. Just have like my Nintendo system and the gaming rig for all my third party and other game. Uh, since a lot of Sony and Microsoft games are going to PC anyway, it wouldn't be a bad idea since so many companies are going to have PC launchers. So. Yeah, so it. Yeah, I was I was just thinking about that. I'm like, it might actually wind up being a better investment if I do it that way, as opposed to. Um, doing a console, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. Um, so I did try out that uh Genshin Impact on PS4. Uh, you know, the one that everybody swears is a Breath of the Wild clone. That game is nothing like Breath of the Wild. It has you could tell where it, where they took inspiration from it, but it's not like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but you can tell where they took some inspiration because the gathering stuff, how the character kind of fights kind of is going to kind of remind you of it a little bit but and the the I can actually walk into a boss without into a uh, environment boss by not trying 
Um, but other than that, I don't see it. That thing's an RPG. That thing is an MMO style RPG. That's what it is. I don't know any other way to say that. Um, I'm playing through it. I'm probably going to game cap some stuff tonight to have on my gaming channel um, sometime next week. But uh, yeah, it it's actually a lot. It's actually, a, I don't want to say a lot of fun just yet because I'm I'm having fun, but I don't want to say that, oh, you should go out and play. And I, I, I'm going to give it another few hours before I come up and do a let's talk on it. But I'm actually enjoying myself so far, but I like fantasy-based anime-looking games. I love the art style. The art style is beautiful, by the way. They they did a good job on it. But I do, I am finding myself having some issues with some of the stuff they do. But uh, for a company I never heard of, me, me, ho, yo, hey, they not bad for a first impression. I think they made a couple of games before, but they they were like Android gotcha games. Oh, which actually Genshin Impact is on uh mobile. <laughs> yeah, it, it is on mobile as well. Um, it's going to be coming to the Switch, and they did uh because I was reading this morning they sent a thing out this morning talking about patch notes and all that stuff but it did say that it's going to have cross progression and cross save so when it hits the switch i'm just gonna like go between both of them mm. so i mean hey like i said i'm having fun right now i got to do one of the temples so i may just uh you know what i think that's what i'll do i'll uh game cap a temple run and um put that on the channel for next week so on the gaming yeah. channel for next week but yeah, I, I mean, I'm having fun. I, I don't see what I and to the people that's complaining about it, like you gotta you gotta try it first before you can make those kind of assumptions. But yeah, it has you can tell what they were inspired by, but it ain't it is not no Breath of the Wild clone. No, it's not. It, it is it is not. This this is not like anything this is not like that. So um and I usually don't like these free to play type games but this is not like a shooter or anything like that um i'm wondering how the quests are gonna go because you can't co-op with people until you get to level 16 oh they want you to learn the game first they want you to learn the game first so you basically have to go that now when you log on they they did they do give you a thing to get your level up a little bit just because there's certain things that that happened in the first hour two hours of the game that you might want to up your level a little bit. <laughs> so they do give you some some stuff like that for, for joining up. And they do have the microtransactions, but you ain't got to get them if you don't want to. So mm-hmm. I haven't bought I haven't bought anything. I don't plan on it anyway. Um but I like I said, I I'm enjoying myself. The story is kind of interesting to me too. Um but I'm hoping to get more backstory on some of the characters because like some of that stuff is kind of like weird but eh, it is what it is starting out i'm enjoying myself so this it looks cool to me so those are my initial thoughts as it were <laughs> yeah. yeah oh and uh i'm gonna need nintendo and um koei tecmo to stop putting out these uh these screenshots for age of calamity Y'all making me, y'all making me want that uh, want Namco Bandai to make a Soul Calibur fighter with, in for Legend of Zelda. Are they going? Look, I, using I want them to make like an eight way fighter, weapons based fighter, but use Legend of Zelda characters. And hey. all these screenshots I keep seeing, I'm like, this could so work if they did it. <laughs> Like y'all don't want to put Soul Calibur whatever on Nintendo, fine, fine. You ain't got to do that. But since y'all helping out on uh, Smash, then that means y'all can help out with something else. How about y'all make this? That would be nice, but but we don't know if that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I mean, because I, I just I keep seeing it. I'm like, this could actually work. But I think if they did it, it outsell Soul Calibur. <laughs> oh, it definitely would. <laughs> It was straight up outside. No, Soul no, bull. it definitely were. Well, like, come on now. If we ain't learned nothing when Soul Calibur 2 came out with the three versions and the console that had the least amount of physical units available, so had the highest sale rate for that game. It had like three million more than the closest one. And I think that was PlayStation. Because I, I want to say like PlayStation sold like four or five mil. I think the 
GameCube version sold like seven or eight million copies, something something weird like that. But yeah, they did that. Mm. Yeah, that didn't. But <laughs> hey, there's a video for something like that on my channel for people that are interested. There, there ahead, really check is. it out. There is, and me and Shadow Fox actually did a, a video a while back talking about like how that could work and how they could get away with it because uh, I I have this theory. So the thing is that they have such long waits between their mainline games, right? Yep. So usually their mainline games of Zelda, Metroid, you know, the mainline games, they usually take a while. So like some of them like Metroid don't even, they skip generations sometimes, but it usually is only one, one a generation, which I'm fine with. I am fine with that. I don't want no annualized Legend of Zelda or Metroid. It'll make it, st- it, it'll, it, it'll lose its uh, flavor to me if they did that. But I do like the idea of making like spinoff games that actually further the lore, but making them with a different studio and have them making a different, a different style of game. Like, Hyrule Warriors, for instance. Like, yeah. I, I like that idea. So, Bandai Namco, why don't you make this Soul Calibur type style game and we can make it a spinoff of Zelda or, like, Fire Emblem or something like that. Put the characters in there and just make a spinoff telling this story but using a fighting game aspect. You know, for so something like Metroid, make, like, a... Because um, I don't know if you can make a, a Musou game for Metroid. That would be weird. It would. It would be difficult. It would be difficult to imagine it. I mean, it's a possibility, but you really have to think everything out. Yeah. Or you could just do like a space shooter. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be like a space shooter where she doesn't leave the ship. And I'm not talking about the Volkswagen bug ship. I'm talking about the Ferrari that she had in Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. (laughs) (laughs) So... I mean, do do something like that, or you could do something like they did with the uh, Star Fox Adventures on Dinosaur Planet. You know, make it a third person um, action adventure game where you actually have to, you know, interact with stuff, and she can't blow up the planet this time. <laughs> yeah, you know that would also so, work. Yeah, I mean, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, just make something different, but actually lets it further the actual lore. Because I would just love for them to make something with the Chozo in it because. We won't never get to hear, we won't never get to see them, even though we know they're not dead. Mm. Yeah, we really don't get to see anything of them living at all. Yeah, the only thing we know is she know where they at, and she ain't telling nobody. That's the only thing that's that's, imp- that's implied. It's implied that she knows where they're at, but she won't tell nobody nothing. That and the fact that she won't let them get in her suit like that either. I mean, There's good reason that she won't tell them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a very good reason. <laughs> but um, I, it's just little things like that. I would love for them to do something with like Kid because they could probably do that, do that with Star Fox as well, especially with Star Fox because I think Star Fox... But I would like to, like, to see Star Fox like, get like an actual dedicated team to him. Like, I wish you could like let Platinum do it, but I know they're not going to do that, not after Zero. Mm. Even though I don't think that was their fault. I, th- I thought the game was fun. Because to me, once you got used to it, it was very easy to control. That that was just more or less people not wanting to learn the game. That's yeah, because that, that, the game was very easy to control once you took the, the 10 minutes it took to actually learn how to play it. So I, I would love to see them get another another crack at it. Because um, if you think about it, they did cockpit control. Yeah. yeah. Back, back in 2015. <laughs> Because you had a cockpit view and all that, as simple as it was. But yeah, I I would actually like to see more in that vein of all right, look, we have we know we know we're we're working, we have our garage team or whatever working on this next entry in the mainline game. While that's going on, can you work on this game that'll come out in two years or three years? It's yeah. gonna be smaller, but It'll it'll wet everybody's whistle while we're working on the main course. You know. I just I just think that that would be better than like, okay, we got this game and it took us five years to get it out, like uh Breath of the Wild did. 
Because we first heard about Breath of the Wild when 2013 or 14, and then it didn't yeah. come out till 2017. I mean, yeah, because it was going that, to come out sooner, but it got pushed back. Yeah, and then it, and by that time, it just pushed it all the way back to the Switch launch, which I mean, like it once again, I don't mind, but it'll make the weight that less, uh, much less unbearable if you. Give us a little spinoff game. And like I said, spinoff games don't have to be 3,000 hours. Mm. They could be... Because I miss the days of 40 to 60 hour games that have replay value. I miss those days. Because <laughs> I don't think every game needs to be 300 plus hours. I just don't. I think a lot of these games get, get bloated by that. Because of... Oh well, we got to make it where it's like four, four, five hundred hours. Like, why? I want to play more than just this game. Now, if I want, now if I want to put four, five hundred hours in it, fine, that's fine. But the game should not take one hundred hours to complete on your first run. No, it shouldn't. Like, plus, (laughs) honestly, it's just like some games really aren't worth that much time being put into them. They're, They're not. Not unless the person wants to. Like, to me, what 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 do you think your perfect um, time for like a JRPG or action adventure game is? Usually early summer. No, I mean like <laughs> as far as like gameplay wise, oh, like time how many frame. hours? Yeah, time frame. Like how long should it take for like on average for RPGs? I think anywhere between eighty and one hundred twenty hours. Mm-hmm. If you want to do a completionist run, it's fine. Like, but for like. Just to do story from start to finish, somewhere around 40, 50 hours. I yeah. think that caps out nicely. Yeah, because my, my thinking is on for story purposes, it should be 40 to 60 hours for JRPGs, action adventure, um, anywhere between 20 and 40. Like it, it should yeah. not take now. If you want to be a completionist and do everything now, certain games like Xenoblade, like Xenoblade, I think the first time I beat Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I beat it in 90 hours, I think it was. And I didn't do half of, I didn't do half of them side quests because I didn't have all the uh uh cores. And I still don't have some of these rare blades. And I'm on my second almost third playthrough. I hate you for not letting me get Cosmos. But <laughs> that being said, um I, it's one of those situations where I, I understand in that game a little bit, but I still think it's like that that's too long, in my opinion. Yeah. But I kind of understand. I don't get mad about it. I kind of understand, but I just think that they should be they should go back to that and like not be on this uh oh well we gotta have we gotta make it like 180 hours. That's just first first playthrough. Really, bro? <laughs> I kind of have other games I like to play, so I mean, can't stay on this one. one. That's one of those things that gets real annoying, where they they overextend the game, yeah, to the point of insanity. Yeah, where you have they make you do a lot of stuff. Half the stuff they make you do is like nonsensical. Very. So, yeah, so I find myself fighting with that on a couple of games now, but eh, it is what it is. So, all right, people, we are coming up on that uh, all-important 45 to 50-minute mark. So, uh, Andre, anything you want to pimp out before we get out of here? Eh, I'm just doing my normal stuff. I mean, I'm putting, I'm uploading more stuff on Anchor, like, when I'm immediate, like, almost immediately after I'm recording it and then later putting it up on YouTube as far as, like, just general thoughts. Like, but my normal idea videos and stuff are still exclusive to YouTube. No, that's not going to be somewhere else. Well, exclusive to you, still going in fo- video format rather than just audio. All right. But yeah, like I'm outside of my normal uploads right now. I have nothing specified. Though yeah, I, I think since we're in October, I might start doing more. Uh, more a horror and a thriller type game gameplay <laughs> just because yeah. it's, it's more interesting for this time of month. Yeah, I might uh kick back up some Resident Evil and do that. That's a good idea. I hadn't done that in a while. Um, 
me personally, I've still got some Let's Talks cooking, so still trying to figure out why my Adobe isn't working right, so I'm going to have to use my other one, my other video editing editing software. But uh, I am going to try to get back into streaming. Um, I'm trying to work out my, because I got a new job, so I'm trying to work out my um, schedule to see how I'm going to be able to do this. But I think it may be favorable for me to do this. So I'll let you guys know more um, in the future. So uh, other than that, though, I will see you guys on our next vid, hopefully next Sunday, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> hopefully nothing crazy happens next week. Uh, in the world of gaming, hopefully don't 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 say that because Nintendo be uh, waiting for people to say something like that. Be like, oh, oh, really? so y'all want to y'all want a real direct now? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like you bastards. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna hope that everything goes smoothly next week. Yeah, nice oh. smooth. There there is one thing I'm look I'm trying to set up and do, and that's to uh. Because it's been interesting to me to get to get started on it, but I'm thinking about doing some Among Us, uh, ah, Among Us group plays, because like it is interesting. Plus, you can get it for free on on uh, mobile to to play around with it. And if you really like it, then you can purchase it on Steam. But I'm interested in doing it because I've been it was mostly because I've been hearing from friends and family members talking about. It. I'm like. At first, I wasn't thinking about it, but now I'm like, if I can sit here and play this game and see how well I can call people's bluffs, that might be something to do. Yeah, that might be. And um, I always know that Phil Spencer is the imposter. So, <laughs> yes, he is always the imposter. No, no doubt about it. Anytime he's on the map with you, make sure you get rid of him first. Yeah. I would love to see like a a, a CEO among us, like gameplay with like I, actually, uh, Nintendo. Yeah, that would, that yeah, would that, that would be funny as hell. You get like three reps from Nintendo, three from Microsoft, and three, yeah, from, three Sony. from Sony, and just jump in an Among Us, have them play like they did with that uh, in Japan when they had the Smash Bros. tournament with the CEOs and stuff. Yeah, the, that would be funny. That would be hilarious. Um, but that's it for our uh, episode this week. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll try to make sure it's up on Anchor sooner than I did last week. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Uh, I'll try to make sure I have the audio version up quicker. So, thank you for watching. As always, Wakanda forever, and peace out, peeps. Peace out, everybody.